Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. Okay, I've made up my mind. I think this city has to go. Um, it's not in a re in a situ in a in a spot here where I really like value its tiles. We're raising a holy site, which is maybe not super ideal. Um, but the fact that it's so far away from my cap, and I don't really have an amazing spot for our um, our government plaza. I think I want my government plaza in our capital here. Our capital actually has a lot of like it's going to be a decent city in the long run. Not crazy on productive tiles, uh, but a lot of nice growth tiles. A lot of jungle to chop out if we want to go that route. Um, and things like that. So I think that it makes a good candidate for the uh, for for a for a uh, 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 government plaza, and maybe even an industrial zone, like hitting several cities. This could be one of our many industrial zones. This could be two. We'll see. Like we'll see. But um, but yeah, I think I'm raising this. I was gonna keep it just to like heal up our units and stuff, but we'll try to go fast. So I'm gonna do that. And then after this builder, maybe maybe get another like two, three settlers, something like that. And yeah. So what else are we doing here? I'll just go ahead and get you down. Don't feel like fighting you. All right. And then I think this next city will go here. With. Could call that the government plaza. Yeah, this isn't insane, but it's decent. So this is one, two, three, and then four other districts. So it's a plus five. Was this unsettleable? Only because I just raised the city. It hasn't updated its uh, borders and things. So something like this. And then if we do an industrial zone here, we probably don't have to do one up here. So we can just get whatever districts. Hi, everyone. Hello. Bigger Yarl. What's going on, man? Thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back into the shop. And Unsung Hero, thank you for the 11. <laughs> 11 months of rerolls is right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Holy shoot. 11 <laughs> months of rerolls. Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome back. Welcome back. Um... Three, no. I don't think I want to put an industrial zone here. Probably just better off getting them like. Uh, although, could we dam? Could I dam this? Would that be better somehow? I have to like put it there. What's up, peppermint? How you doing? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Make this guy a sword. It's pretty cheap. We've got a good amount of resources now. We've got a good amount of iron, some gold. So yeah, we could we could start turning that guy into a sword. We've got this guy doing what? This guy's just here to pillage, really. So we'll come over and pillage this stone. Not even sure you can aqueduct that tile. Why not? Next to a geothermal fissure, it gives an amenity. We should uh, think about moving this, actually. Well, I'll tell you in eight turns if I can. Wouldn't it be better to plan the plaza over the river? No. Uh, in fact, it would be foolish to to do so. So this, so Pearl is a really powerful ability. 50% production to di districts and buildings. And yes, the buildings in the government plaza are pretty expensive. But you only need like a couple of them. And that the district itself is pretty cheap. So I don't really want to be doing that. It's also usually not a great idea as far as like maximizing the government plaza. Like putting it next to your city. We're already giving it one dead tile with the encampment here. Um, so no, I, I I don't think so. I think you want Pearl to to build you other districts. Hey Ann, hey Ann, how you doing? <laughs> no, 
Need eight more era score for a golden. People who cannot find time. <laughs> Gonna keep running away from that horse. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm sorry to hear that. Gonna go ahead and get a sword here just to defend a little bit better. <laughs> nice, Ahan. Have fun. Wish encampments had some sort of adjacency. I think encampments actually a pretty powerful district on its own. Um, it does help boost other adjacencies because it does count as a district. Um, but yeah, it doesn't provide any of its own, obviously. My archer got leveled. I could actually heal these guys super fast. By just pulling them back. And then maybe these ones we split the difference and leave them up here. And then bring in these around. But yeah, turn 67, not bad. Um, not bad for what we are. Like having a having a fairly powerful army um, is nice. What do we want to do here? Uh, I don't think I need another general. I don't know what I want there, actually. Huh. Are there Barb Settler up north? Did that happen? <gasps> it did happen. Oh, God. <laughs> we should be okay, but that's actually super nice. That was Gandhi's, and he must have lost it. So this is the settler I can actually bring right down here. Uh, and then my next two settlers can go a little further away, which is great. What's up, Postman Pat? Feeling okay, man. How are you? So, yeah, I don't know. We could keep running the general, I suppose. Uh, classic medieval. That's not really what I'm looking for, though. If we want a general, I think we want it to hit our next, like, our renaissance units. Uh, scientist probably doesn't matter. Wow, eight. Okay. Um, I don't really know what to put in here. Settlers, maybe? Or builders? I guess I am getting some builders. That probably makes sense. Uh, maybe settlers was better. I'm not sure. Running great writer. I don't have the writer writer pro the writer points yet, unfortunately. Getting walls. Couple Varu to take down here. Teddy's not really giving us too hard of a time, no. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a couple more builders out then. And we'll like chop this, get their campus, start to fix our uh, science and things. Didn't realize that guy had a promotion. What are you building? That's the great library. I actually want you to build that. That would be great. Pretty 
bring up the general. Hello, clever. How you doing? Uh, 30 turns, Levy's last. 30 turns. A little bit more faith. Not much we can do with it. All right, cool. I kind of thought we'd lose this here, and that's fine with me, because um, it, it prevented them from shooting me once. So I think it's better to do that. We still probably have enough health to deal with this, although the Varu are now in the way. The war with Teddy just for plundering. He doesn't want to make peace, to be honest with you. So the war with Teddy is just sort of indefinite at this stage. Now we get better gold because we're finally getting our plantations going. I think I will upgrade this guy. We've got the money and resources to do so. It's another permanent move for me. Gonna go ahead and take advantage of the builder policy since we're doing it. I could have waited as well and chopped with the builder policy. Technically more efficient, but just gonna make the moves we do now. Okay. Moved in between me, very nice. Another Varu down, two era score because our general is nearby. We need six more to hit a golden age here. So you actually can't, no one can take this. So I can just chill there. I can actually chill here. Good job, Sun Tzu. Doing work for us. Oh, uh, really? Oh, come on! <laughs> I want more settlers. What is that? Wow, more diamonds. It's a pretty cool continent. It's been poorly settled because AI, but uh, it's pretty decent. There's, there goes my first levy. So uh, this is obviously the, the risk that you run uh, quite often. Uh, they are up to five. The AI uh, is fighting me on this. And it was actually Teddy who did it. Uh, but we, thankfully, can actually get them back, assuming we have the money. And we don't at the moment. So we have to let Kumasi's uh, swords go a second, unfortunately. 
We lost both of these. Yep, so there you go. Uh, so, so that's how painful that is. 440 gold kind of down the drain if you look at it that way. Because uh, we had 20-some turns left on that. So good that it happened so, so it can be seen. This one will keep. It's on a river, has iron, uh, which we need to fix. Um, but uh, yeah, th this seems fine to keep, even though it's going to be a little bit tough to hold on to it. We'll probably have to move Mr. Magoo here just to hold on to this for a, a long enough. And we may not even be able to then. But we'll see. Uh, Jebel's interesting. Not a great spot for it. Probably interested in getting them a water mill. They'll, they'll be able to grow here quickly. They're still only pop two at the moment. Uh, we'll go improve these farms. We have one charge to do it. What's this one? This is also one charge. Let's go fix both of those. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate you. All right. Now we just have to take Delhi. And we're looking for 440 golds. So starting to get our culture from our plantations, which is great. Repairing does not char take a charge. That's correct. That is correct. Move you. Four turns on that. So now I want to get this. I really want to get this campus. It's fantastic. It's era score. It's science. It's everything we need. Um, in the meantime, what can we get started on? I could get the government plaza real quick. An extra governor charger two would be decent. Probably just get some infrastructure in the form of like a granary here. Teddy's going to be interesting to fight. Invincibility lies in the defense. Crossbows. Hello, crossbows. I knew you'd be here soon. Bordos. So Monty's up here. I don't know that I want to move her. Ah, uh, we could move her. Although it get it puts us in a pretty precarious situation. Can the profit take the settler? No. Do I also the crossbow? Yeah, we have levied units that have five extra combat strength and a general nearby. So we have ten extra combat strength. So that that freaking crossbow better get leve le uh, leveled. Plus three campus seems pretty good. That's also plus three because of this. I mean, I do need science. Could also see walls here, but I don't feel that threatened. Maybe another builder makes the most sense.
Guess Pingala for the cap. That will chop these. One of these I want to chop. I guess it's better to chop the one that's directly under the volcano because that'll get erupted on eventually. And then if I leave two jungle tiles, we leave the uh, plus five campus. Alternatively, we could look at building Chicha Itza. Chicha and Itza in the cap. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles. What do you think, chat? Should we go for Chichen in the cap? I didn't really think about it until now. Seems like a decent... Seems like a decent thing for us to build there. Cleared that barb camp by now. Still building walls here. That's good. Chichen under volcano. I know. Like this will get. This one will probably go. But yeah, that seems okay. Switching any policies, builders. I could start thinking about more settlers here. Still, I'm still a little bit more worried about infrastructure. I just want to be able to keep levying and keep our ability going so that we can keep like paying for stuff. So this government plaza plus the uh, commercial hub makes a lot of sense. Hemlock. You fought through. Here are some bits for you. <laughs> Thanks, Hemlock. I appreciate you, man. That's uh, that is very kind of you. Happy Friday, and thank you for the thousand bits. That's very, very generous. Thank you, thank you. And we did fight through this. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad that we had a uh, like a shaky looking start that we that we turned into something here. That always makes me feel good. I don't think we're changing anything. I like the builder. Well, maybe I don't like the builders. What, what could we run in here? I could run tile buying. I do want to grab that campus tile. Just for like one second. And then don't go after feudalism. Go after a faster policy switch here, like military training. That seems good. One man's magic. Two turns on rebellion there. My units are very, very damaged. I don't like it. Yeah, there'll be one less religion in the game if Gandhi doesn't actually found his before we're done with him. So no Magnus here for these chops. Had to move him for other reasons. Wow, Machu's still here at turn 74. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this plus five campus. It's exceptionally good. I like it. Hello, Bonnie. How you doing? So we'll get both of these. We're working on the water mill. And then my whole point of this city is that it grows. So it's worth work both the food tiles and get this to be a decent one. I know it's decent. We've been live about 45 minutes, Bonnie. All right, probably going to lose this city now. I could put this city here. It, it means I have to buy more tiles. It might be worth it, though. Better for, better for building districts. It's interesting. Oh, 
How do I still have that? I have no idea. Okay, so no great library for us, but we do pick up a decent campus. It's plus two. We also now have a wonder, which is nice. Uh, a really weird holy site in a really stupid spot over there. So that's typical. Um, and then we can probably peace out. Like he's he does have a capital over here now. Um, we took his other settlers, so this is probably likely all he has. Uh, his settler or his uh, his profit won't go away, so he could bring him over and found a religion. That doesn't really bother me too much. This is probably too far away for me to deal with, unless I like levy Lisbon um, and just finish it off that way. Our troops have literally two turns left, so it took us twenty eight turns to wipe out Gandhi uh, off of basically one, um, off of like one levy which is pretty pretty darn good. So yeah, so we can just get him out of there. We can just make our peace, hopefully take some money from him, uh, pay for our, our future levies and things. Hi Thalia, thank you very much. It's good to see you, how are you? Happy Friday. So that obviously we have to take. Yeah, I think I like settling this wheat. Even though settling here gives us a really good farm triangle. That's like kind of the one consideration. This tile gets me closer to this, which is a better starting tile. I could also just settle here and get a builder charge on that uh, wheat. Yeah, Teddy's already been fighting me. He's the first one that declared war. Take what Diplo favor we have. We can. Probably no more than 20. Indeed. Uh, what else can we take? We could take some. Nope. He doesn't want to give me iron. That's fine. He will give me some horses. Give me exactly six. It's because I'm near cap. All right. That gets me really close to my um, second levy or my next levy here. Gandhi's final city is over here in the west. Okay, awesome. So that's phase one. Uh, loyalty fixed before we even lost them. I hope we don't lose it this turn. That would really suck, actually. Because we we there should be no loyalty pressure uh, or opposing loyalty pressure here. So that'll be interesting. We do want to probably take this army and go kill some barbs. But I have, I'm about to need another levy here. So we'll see where we're at. Might be pretty expensive to re-levy Pelinque. He built me an encampment. <laughs> Those who inquire. All right, there's the end of the era. We actually already secured our golden age. Uh, taking a capital is a good amount of era score. Actually, warring uh, is very, very rewarding as far as uh, era score stuff. Generals can do things, um, obviously, uh, armies and um, cores and stuff. So that's good. And we stabilized. <laughs> Full loyalty in five turns. All right. Very nice. What's up, Ports? How you doing, dude? So these are going to not be mine starting next turn. Again, this isn't mine. So I don't really care if it dies. Uh, 
Uh, why do the units have some sort of cloak on them? Yes, these are levied units. This clock, rather. Been playing Civ Five. Is Monopoly of a resource still a thing? Do they give a bonus still? No, not really. That's the amenity system changed a lot from Civ Five to Civ Six, uh, and I'm not super familiar with the Vox Populi mod. Unfortunately, I've heard amazing things about it, but I've not messed with it too much. All right, so I can net levy again next turn or soon. Maybe settlers now. How soon until I'm done with this district? Six turns, four turns, two turns, eight turns. Um, hmm. Let's take a little extra gold. So if I plunk it right here in the wheat, it's a pretty greedy settle, which I'm usually a big fan of. Uh, I don't have an obvious like Ruhr Valley city or anything like that at the moment. Like I said, like if we wanted to maybe move this city over here, it could potentially be worthy. Like if I settle the if I settle the tobacco, this could still realistically be an option. If I settle the tobacco. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 hills is, a, is an impressive rear valley. Do they have the growth to sustain it? There's a nice farm triangle right here. It's not the worst. We could also move it one over and pick up kind of nothing. So it's not really worth it. To be fair, you have one continent for yourself, but you really need industrial zones? Uh, I don't know if I really need them. Uh, we could go a lot of different ways. Uh, usually, and this is like a, an older version of Civ thing, but usually when you can take over your whole continent first, which obviously Raven King allowed us, is allowing us to do, um, you can kind of take the game in any direction you want. Um, from there, like the only game in which I would want industrial zones is a space race, which I am considering. Um, but I would say need is a strong word. Before go Chichen, I uh, can harvest the jungle bananas, get to pop 10. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Like, is that just better? Letting our cap start to get districts, chop things out, maybe move Magnus back here um, and go that route. Any direction like a Diplo victory? Hmm. I mean, no. <laughs> How do I feel about that? How do we want to win? Like, do we really... Is it space race? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is not enough. Where else could we Chichen? Or uh, not Chichen, um, Ruhr. This is pretty flat. This is productive. Actually, all of this is productive. Boston even has an aqueduct. What? Go for domination from where you're at. The problem is you need to get across uh, the continent and take out three more sieves. And that sounds like a lot. I'm just doing this. This is still theoretically on the table, although I'm probably not going to do it now. There go all of my units. There's the barb camp that we found. It looks like he's going to be able to clear it, but that's fine. Start to put our units down south now. Get 
Give them a nice growth, growth tile. Just keep messing with that guy. All right, so let's look at our levy situation. We have 300 here. It's actually pretty reasonable. Um, I have two envoys available, and then I can get two more from the levy. So I could get a first time Suzer in here. The problem here is I actually don't need the era score for Suzing them. Lisbon, we could go finish him off, although we're at peace for a few turns. I think it's still just Kumasi. Uh, and we've got their swordsman here. It's 490. It's pretty expensive. That is the most troll tea I've ever seen. Geothermal and then five mountains. That's a plus seven campus. <laughs> hey, you bring light in. What's up, Great Oz? Thank you so much for the 23 months. Welcome back to the shop, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That for seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. What's theirs? They're 600, yeah. So they get more and more expensive as we like level them up and stuff, obviously. Thank you very much, Great Oz. Welcome back for 23 months. Almost two full years. That's crazy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, B C L N B wait, B C L Ender. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Actually, you need to be down there because that's where our next push is. Um. So she definitely starts to get some districts here. Can't believe Machu's available. It's pretty insane in our game, actually. But I, I really can't foresee us actually getting it. It's turn 78 already. I'd be shocked if, if it were that ignored. Would an encampment close to Teddy be of any value now? Uh, yes, although probably not enough that I'm going to do it. I just want to get these campuses going. I do need this road. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't need that road. Okay, what road do we need? Something from here? Probably. Yeah, the AI c tends to get stifled a little bit early on here with barbs these days, I've noticed. So we can take advantage of that with our big human brains. So we do get uh, too much error score for that, but I don't think we're sustaining it otherwise. Like, I don't think we're going to get them, right? So we might as well take that, take our little bit of money, and think about this levy now. I'd like to get to Niter. He's going to have crossbows. Awful Puffagus, thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate it. What level walls does he have? Probably just ancient. Yeah, just ancient there. Washington has also just ancient. Yeah. Huffle Puffagus, thank you so much for the, uh, not brand new, the repeat sub. Welcome back for 16 months, my friend. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so just, uh, just ancient walls. Uh, 
Does he have a general? That's a good question, too. Prophet. Scientist. General. Yes, he does have a general. Classic medieval. So, yeah. Could be rough. Still might do it. What was attacking his walls? Could have just been a, a flood. He's on a flood plains. It's a test of time challenge. Deity Civ 6 Marathon. Uh, we've done a, a Civ 6 Marathon uh, each of the last three years. And this is this year's. All right. So we got our walls here. I do want this campus, uh, but not quite yet. I can really use some builders. I have two farms. If I repair this, it's three, four. This is five, six, seven. Yeah, so I actually can get the feudalism boost in this game, which is uh, kind of rare for me. Kind of rare. I want to go fix up stuff. I mostly have these roads, actually. Maybe this is fine to Babylon. Which connects them in, which is good. Hello, Cornflower. How are you? It's good to see you. How's life? How are you? It's good to see you. All right. So general is here. We obviously don't have a whole lot of troops. If you look at our actual troop count, it's very, very low. Swordsman plus two archers is all we have proprietarily. Uh, but we can obviously levy and keep the war going via that. Um, is that something we want to do right now or do we want to wait? Love the content as always. Mojaka, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back into the shops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good to have you. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, I mean, Teddy has one here. I guess we can basically go up to nine. That should theoretically be enough to hold them on my own. Could also go after Buenos Aires. Uh, same type of situation. He's at one more than me. Siege weapons yet? Not yet. Tough work week. Ah, well, I hope you do enjoy it. Thanks for spending some of it with us. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, Ordos. See you, buddy. I think I'm going to wait on this next levy. I might have to start making my own units as well. That is Kumasi right there. Screw it. I'm doing it. I can afford you, right? 490. So now these are my troops again. And we go up to uh, eight. So we've got one over here. Wow, Lisbon has quite a bit too. 450 for them. Yeah, I might want to, because I'm probably done with Amani here. I was actually thinking about sending Amani to like Lisbon. But I, again, I don't want the first Suzer in this era. We have seven turns left. Bondman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Um... I'm going to wait because I, I would like to bring Buenos Aires' troops into this now and probably ignore Gandhi. Okay. That's cool. You know what else is cool? This whole video is done. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. Look forward to seeing you.